Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are looking at the December 2018 energy forecast and it's so great to be here to be able to deliver this message because this energy that we're coming into over the next two weeks that brings us into December brings us into a whole new phase of our lives. It brings us um, what it actually signifies is the ending of an energy that began around March or um, for some in would have begun already last year around November, um, which intensified over the uh, May to August period and then started trickling down again. And what you're going to see is a culmination of that. Well, you would be feeling the culmination of that in the last month or so. And... Uh, the culmination of it would have been at its height about two or three weeks ago, and now it's just the annoyances and irritation of what's the residual of that energy. And going into December, uh, what we're experiencing is a new renewal, a rebirth. This is a chance for you to be able to renew your lives completely, even if you haven't done the work, even if you haven't been pondering and considering and contemplating and reflecting. It doesn't you don't need to have done that. The universe is providing us with a, an opportunity, which you'll start to feel this week on some level, but it will be more relevant from the first weeks of December onward. It's, not, it's providing you with an opportunity to, re, to actually renew yourself, to adopt a new identity, to adopt a new way of being. And what do I mean by that? I'm talking about precisely uh, changing your routine, yeah, adopting a routine that allows you to be able to manifest your dreams. It allows you to choose a path with ease, okay, uh, which is the best path for you. So in this year or in the last years, you may have felt, especially during certain points in this year, you may have felt that, like you, wouldn't, you weren't able to move past that or you're not really able to extend yourself beyond. You're not able to bring change into your life. You're not able to bring meaningful change into your life. But come December, there's going to be a lightness of the energy. There's going to be an easiness of the energy. You're going to be able to feel like you can move again. Um, so whereas some of you may have felt like the the energy that you've been in has had you in a in a trap, you know, like a like a rat trapped in one of these rat traps. You've now it's like somebody's just opened that trap now, and you're able to be free. And so you're going to be looking around, wondering in which direction can you take this. And I want to advise you in the first few weeks of December to when this energy hits you, it's going to be like a huge wave that hits you, like a tidal wave of energy and information and lightness of being that hits you, that you actually just make a decision and go with it because you need to ride this wave, okay? So if you spend too much of time dithering about or not really certain about how which direction to move in or how to take this forward, you're going to lose this opportunity. But you won't have lost it completely because this covers us all. It is like a tidal wave of energy because it covers us all equally. But you can decide how you can get it to work for you or you can decide uh, on how effective this energy can be for you in the upcoming months. So this energy will last us through most of December. The uh, the wave of lightness of being and the easiness uh, is especially so in the first 10 days of December. It could be 13, the first 13 days of December. And then it shifts slightly again. And what you're going to find towards the end of December is that there's going to be um, a, a throwback to what's happened already in the last few weeks. You, some issues that you may have experienced in November or at the end of October or also in the end of August may arise for you again. And you may feel uh, slightly overwhelmed by it, largely because you are going to be busy with other things. So I see this being a really busy time for you. I see the last two weeks of December being really busy for you. Also those who are not in the Western world and are not celebrating Christmas. But um, for for wherever you are, the, the, the energy kind of heightens and becomes a, a bit confused in the last two weeks of December. So the advice then is to um, be cautious as you proceed. Observe as you move along. It's as if uh, you are moving at a, at, a faster, at a faster pace as the year rolls to an end and things are going uh, a little bit out of control 
Yeah, but you don't need to be concerned too much. It doesn't seem or feel as if this is actually a problem. It seems to be more uh, a situation where you just need to be observing and moving along, riding the wave, so to say. But you still have all the goodness from the first weeks of the month uh, or from this new energy that's taken us. So another point about this energy is that um, it signals, the energy of this year, 2018, signals the beginning of something that will last another 100 to 150 years. It will go beyond our generation for sure and beyond the next generation's lifetime. And it, it signals an ending of a certain consciousness in humanity and the beginning of a new consciousness. And this has been building up and been um, in the process for several years now or decades, one could say. This doesn't just happen in 2018. But 2018 has been um, like the doors opened and closed. And this energy has come in and the doors closed behind it. So it's in, it's almost like it's in the ring again. It's, it's about to, it's ready to play. So you might have had uh, the feeling that something's about to happen or something's about to change or this new world order or this new dimensional energy, this fifth dimensional energy is coming into being and you actually don't uh, know when it's happening or, but you can feel it's happening or some of you may be in it already or maybe feeling it. But what you're going to find is that you're going to start an, uh, really being able to understand that it is here and that you are in it right now. It's in the room with you. It's playing with you. It's interacting with you. It's it's something that you're dabbling with without even realizing it. And you can either choose a path of, of higher goodness for yourself or you can choose to remain in a, a scenario where you are not choosing the best for yourself. So this energy asks us to ask us constantly, are we making the right decisions by ourselves? Are we living in integrity? This is a huge um, theme for us at this moment. Are we being honest with ourselves? Are we living in alignment with our highest good and with our soul purpose on this planet? And so this energy, as I said, it's in the room with us now and we can't ignore it anymore. We can't wait for later. We can't postpone it for later. It's something that we're going to be working with and dabbling with all the time. And I feel that's especially strong for the first two weeks of this month. You're going to be more aware of it. And even though you won't be so aware of it in the last two weeks of December, you will actually, uh, it will still be there with you. So this is an, um, an amazing moment that we enter into. It just brings us into this lightness, into this joy, uh, the ability to be able to enjoy things much more than we have been able to, an ability to be able to see the gratitude, um, to, to acknowledge all the gifts that we have. And it's easier for us to do that at this moment. Um, the, um, as I mentioned, the energy changes a little bit in the last two weeks of December, but I'm going to do another forecast uh, sometime at the beginning of December to prepare you for that and to alert you to that. But in the meantime, uh, what I have to say to you is that just go with this, feel it in you, ride this wave, Take it as far as you can possibly go and see how it applies to your life and see how you can better your life with this energy. Enjoy this lightness. Allow the lightness to come into your life and just go with it because there's a lot of goodness to come with that. There's a lot of happy things to come with it. There's a lot of luck there. It's like the universe is supporting you and holding you and this is for every single one of us on this planet. And um, it's supporting us and bringing us to a new level. And we have much to look forward to uh, with regard to this. You, this energy is asking you to embody a new type of being in this on this planet, the responsibility of which you'll need to bear at a later stage. What do I mean by that? Uh, that is the seriousness of this energy, okay? So the, the more hardcore aspect of this energy comes to bear later on, early next year, when you need to look at things more seriously and when you need to look at things that you haven't had a chance to look at, when you need to make some major changes which are difficult to make, well, that will come later on. But in the meantime, we have this beautiful energy here that's lifting us up and taking us into a new month where we are bound to be festive and bound to be excited and bound to be able to use this energy to create something wonderful in our lives. And this is really a time in which we should use this energy to do exactly that. 
So on that note, I'd like to wish you all very well and much love from me and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.